And now let's talk about replace. So replace is used whenever you want to replace a substring inside your string with another substring. Or in general, when you want to replace a match or all the matches of a pattern with a replacement. Let's see the syntax. So you want to call replace on your string object and then pass in as the first parameter your search string. So this is the one you want to replace and this is the replacement here, the replacer string, this is the second parameter. So let's see some examples here. So I have here a string. So we have here the word blue that occurs here three times. And the first one here is with B capitalized. Now, if I go and call replace on the text uh, string object here, and I'm gonna pass in blue, the first uh, parameter, which is the search string. So this tells replace to go and search for blue and then replace it with red. So simple. So I'm gonna assign this to result because replace doesn't modify your original string. Instead, it does the replacement and then return the, that as a new string. Now, if we take a look on the result, we're going to find uh, the blue, the second blue here, uh, has been replaced with red. So this is not a match, and this is the first match. So this is also a match, but replace will just replace your first match only. Now, the replace method can also take in as a parameter, as the second parameter, a replacer function, so a function. So instead of using a replacer string, you can use a function and inside your function you can do some logic and then at the end you need to return a value, a string, that's going to be the replacer string. Now let's see an example. So I'm going to call replace and then I'm going to go again and search for string and then I'm going to pass in a function. Now this function here takes in as the first parameter, the match itself. So here when we search for blue, this is the match. So now match here is exactly blue. Now what I'm going to do with blue here, I'm just going to go and uppercase it. So I'm going to use to uppercase a method we didn't see yet, but it's self-explanatory. So this will return blue uppercased, and that's going to be our replacer string in this case here. So if I take a look on result, now this will return this string here where the first match blue now is uppercased. Now the replace method can take in a regular expression instead of the search string. So you can go and use a search string if you want. So the replace will just go and search for that string inside your text. You can also use a regular expression with the power of regular expression. And then the second parameter is going to be the replacer string. So let's see some examples here. So I'm going to call replace and then I'm going to pass in blue and then I'm going to use the global flag here. And then the replacement is going to be red. So I'm going to assign this to result. Now, because I use the global flag here, so this is a match and this is also a match. So replace will go and replace all these matches with red. So this is the string that we're going to get at the end. So the first blue here is replaced with red and the second blue here is replaced with red. Now, if I didn't use the global flag here, this is the one that's going to be replaced only. And now in the next example, I'm just going to go and play with the regular expression. So I'm going to add the case insensitive flag here. So this will go and replace blue here because now this is a match and this blue here and this also with red. And now you can pass in also a second parameter uh, as a function when you use regular expressions. So I'm going to use the same uh, function here, the same function we used in this case here. So I'm going to get the match and then uh, uppercase it. Well, this function here can also take in some other parameters. You can go and look into the documentations and see what are those parameters. Now the regular expression I'm going to use here is blue again with the global flag and the I flag. So again, this is a match. This is also a match and this is also a match. So all these three matches now will now be uppercased. Well, that's it for replace. Now let's move on and talk about replace all. So just from the name here, you can know the difference between replace and replace all. So replace is used when you want to replace just the first occurrence of the match and replace all will go and replace all the matches in your string. So the syntax is the same. So replace all takes in the search string as the first parameter and a replace string as the second parameter. Let's do some examples here. 
So I have here the same string. I'm going to call now replace all with blue as a search string and replace string is red. So because this is replace all, this will go and replace all the matches against blue here. So I'm going to assign now these two results. Now if you take a look on the return string, so we're going to find that this blue here, the first match is replaced and also the second match is replaced. Now replace all can also take in a function as the second parameter and that's called a replacer function. So uh, I'm going to call replace all. Now the search string is here blue. The same examples we used with replace. So I'm going to call a function. Again, the first parameter is going to be the match itself. So blue uh, is a search string. Now the match is blue. So this is the first match. I'm going again to uppercase it. And this time, because this is replace all, it's not going to go and replace this first match only. It also going to replace all the matches uh, as well. So this is what we're going to get. So the first uh, match is now uppercased and the second match is also uppercased. Now replace all can also take in a regular expression as the first parameter and then the replacer string uh, as the second parameter. So let's see some examples. I'm going to call replace all and then I'm going to pass in a regular expression but you must call replace all with the global flag. So you must always use a global regular expression will replace all. And now the replace string is a red. So then I'm going to assign this to a result. Now the string result now will be this uh, string here. So where, where all the matches now are replaced with red. Now in the next example, I'm going to play with the regular expression. So here I'm going to use the I flag for case insensitive. Now the matches are three, so this is a match now, also this one and this one. So all the three matches now will be replaced with red. Now replace all can also take in a regular expression and a replacer function as the second parameter. I'm going to use here the same function, the same replacer function from before. And then I'm going to use this regular expression here. Now all these uh, matches now will be replaced with uh, uh, the match uppercased. Well, again, for this function here, the replacer function, it doesn't take in only one parameter. It takes in more than uh, one parameter. You can actually go and see the documentation for, for that. So you can do more advanced uh, things with this replacer function. So this is just a simple or very simple example of a replacer function. Now, uh, the last example here is when you use uh, or when you call replace all with a non-global regular expression. So if you use this non-global regular expression with replace all, you're going to get type error. So replace all here must be called with a global regular expression. So I think that's clear and that's it for replace and replace all. Now let's move on to the next method.